Um, just a disclaimer that I didn't get all of these things all at once. I bought some of these things with my own money and some of them were gifts for Christmas and my birthday. So I just thought I'd share with you guys some of the stuff that I did get. And sorry if I look horrible by the way, it's pretty hot here at the moment in Australia so a bit of a gross mess but wanted to film this video anyway. So, so here are some sharpen markers that I have bought. Um, I wanted to get like a giant pack of all the different colour sharpies but couldn't find that so I got this one it's got some nice ones there's like some lighter colors in there and I got this one as well which is a really cool pack um, it had some of the colors that weren't in that first pack that I got um, it's got some neon colors as well in there in there and it also comes with a black light so that you can draw on things and have this cool black light effect which I thought was really cool and yeah, there wasn't that many like large packs of Sharpies and so I grabbed this because there was so many colours in that one there. And yeah, I've always just wanted to have all the different colour Sharpies for like drawing on shoes and just drawing on different things and like calico, so. And I went into another store and they had some singular ones, so I grabbed a couple of colours which I didn't already have in those packs. Regular like pinks and a very bright purple, so I'm excited to use those, so I'll have to do like um, I'm planning on doing a Sharpie challenge, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> planning on doing Sharpie challenge, so if you'd like to see that, stick around, it'll probably be one of my next couple of videos. Um, I'm still trying to sort out and get uploads happening again. There's been a few issues with um, recording audio, my time lapses, and just video editing in general, so it's been a bit difficult to do that, but I am trying to fix my laptop and fix a few things so that I can get back to regular uploads. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me and I promise I'll have regular uploads, I'll do art and I'll do more tutorials and challenges and anything else you guys would like to see. Um, yes, moving on. This is a, probably like a random thing. You guys probably think like, what the hell is this? Is this a candle? No, it is a wax stick. So this is used, um, you light the end here and you pour it on a sealed envelope or like to seal an envelope. It's a wax seal. <laughs> and I do have a stamp which has got my initials on it and it's just one of those Things I like to do every now and then for when I sell prints and send them off from my Etsy store or when I do my Patreon mail. Um, I just think it adds a nice little touch and I'm always looking for new and interesting ways to decorate the envelopes and stuff that I do send. I do have a different theme each month so yeah, it's quite nice. So I got this from Eckersley's. It was a bit pricier than the ones online but it does feel like it's better quality. The lighting is probably a bit terrible but this one here was actually a gift and it is 15 holiday. 1500 color mixing recipes for oil, um, acrylic and watercolor and I'll give a proper flip through in a minute but it's basically just got different paint palettes and stuff in there and basically 
will tell you how to mix those specific colors. Um, it is different, obviously, um, with different paints, they do react differently. Um, this is a, yeah, like I said, it was a gift. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. I like it mainly for paint palettes, sort of thing, so I can see what colors it work together or get ideas for using different colors. That's one thing I'm trying to push myself with at the moment is just like using different colors when I normally would and kind of getting out of my comfort zone a bit. So I really love this book and I think it's a really useful book for anyone starting out with painting. So if you want to get it, um, I'll put the name in the description box down below. So you can find it easy enough online on Amazon or Book Depository. So um, next up, I actually have a couple of pencil cases. Um, these are bigger than what I normally get. I normally just seem to get ones that are about A5 or smaller um, and I realized this I'm like why don't I just get some bigger pencil cases I'm always either overfilling them or I want big enough ones to put like a little sketchbook or something in as well so I got this one which was really cheap from Kmart and it's got like teal um, canvas material which is really nice I seem to be grabbing a lot of teal stuff at the moment but I think it's just because it's one of the colors I like that actually is on trend at the moment so there's a few things out there and it's just got like little black and white and gold accents and like sprinkles so I thought it was really cute um, it's actually like really good quality and I think it was like three dollars from Kmart so I'm happy with that probably going to use it for um, some other things as well like just bits and pieces and they're not necessarily just pencils um, oh yeah my other pencil cases are too small to put paint brushes in so this will be good for that as well when I'm on the go and I can Put my paint brushes and my little travel uh, paint watercolor palette in there so and this one is very pink i don't normally own anything pink uh nothing gets it it's just not one of my favorite colors but i liked the design on it and how it's spaced out and everything and it's foamy sort of material if that makes sense i mainly grab this one for chucking in like my batteries and my external hard drives and different bits and pieces like that so it's got a bit of protection i can have it in my bag and all the cords and everything all together currently i just kind of chuck things in my bag which is a bad thing to do so I figure this will keep everything together and it will keep it a little bit protected moving on there are a couple of books that again I got as presents um, this one here is uh, from 3d total publishing and it is art fundamentals this was one that I was on my wish list and my friend Alyssa got this for you for Christmas so thank you so much Alyssa like, so stoked thank you so much and it's a lovely book here. I actually saw it in the catalogue that came with The Art of Lowish. Three so total set in that catalogue there. And I'll do a little th flip through at some point. But it's just got different artists and things like that in there. Just some sort of basic stuff with like thumbnailing and colour theory and tonal theory and things like that. So I figured it's like a very good book for me to read up on. And it does have very um, beautiful artworks and artists in the back there. So I will try and link this one down below as well if you are interested in getting this book. Oh yeah, this was a, another thing that I grabbed from Eckersley's and that's just an art line. Anyway, so this is an art line gold bullet tip pen. I was going to get some metallic sharpies but uh, I haven't really liked them in the past. I know the gold was a bit too green. So this one was just one that I grabbed from Eckersley's and it seemed cheap enough. I wanted to get the gold calligraphy one but it was just too expensive and this if it doesn't blind you on the camera um this is just a little journal oh god <laughs> i'm sorry this is like awful lighting but yeah this as you can see is an iridescent or holographic and i just saw it and i was like i have to have it i admit that and i'm always using lots of journals and notebooks for different thoughts and writing down different projects so i can never have enough of those <laughs> This again is another cute little um, thing. It's from Typo and it is teal as well. And this is a present from my friend Alyssa. She also gave me this for my birthday last year, it was in November. And it's a 2017 uh, diary, which I had on my wish list as well because I need diaries. <laughs> um, I just, yeah, I really try to stay organized with um, art projects and things at uni and as well as like doing my YouTube stuff as well. I do a lot of actual planning and have certain days I do filming and things like that. But yeah, recently they've the schedule has kind of fallen a bit behind, but I've been writing down lots of ideas and working on getting different footage and trying to get editing happen. So I do actually have a few different videos on the run at the moment and they'll be finished and hopefully uploaded soon. This, I love this so much, um, it is another present that I got for Christmas. It was from Keshi, who you would know from our art cast videos on this channel. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a paper blanks 
hardcover journal. I've always wanted one of these and like <laughs> I cried when I got this for Christmas because there's actually a really lovely message written in there and she drew a little bat for me which is um, as my friends know is like my favorite animal. Yeah so that was really lovely and I got a bit teary over that and it's just got some nice very faint lines in there. This is going to be a bit more of a personal project than a book that I'm going to be using this year. I like to keep my notebooks kind of separated like for a subject or for different things like that. I have tried the past to have one notebook for everything but it was just too overwhelming for me. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is another random thing that I got on the stationery shop today which is a meal planner and it's just like a diary uh, calendar layout sort of thing and it's got like breakfast, lunch, dinner and treats. I get excited about back to school stationery shopping more than I get excited about shopping for shoes although I do need to buy some new shoes. <laughs> and kind of last on the list is another teal thing. I know, what is this? Um, I swear teal is my favourite colour, it's just been something that's I've been drawn to lately. It's another diary and this one is a 2017 one for this year and it's an A4 diary. It's got teal and it's got gold bits on the front like gold little sprinkles so I have a couple of things that kind of go together which is completely unintentional and I bought at different times. It's an A4 uh, page per day one which would be really good again for different planning so stuff that I need to plan in more detail so it might be certain project days or um, whilst I'm on uni placement I want to have like write down notes for the whole day. The, the smaller diary probably will be personal stuff for keeping track of that. Anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in for this short little video. Um, hope you did enjoy looking at some of the art stuff that I got. Um, I haven't really done a whole video for a long time um, and I know this isn't like a whole lot of stuff and it's just stuff I've accumulated lately and thought I'd try and chuck in a video to show some of the new stuff that I have got and if you're interested in like seeing me do a Sharpie challenge let me know down below. Um, I think that would be really interesting. I'm, I'm sure it's been done before but I like doing different art challenges with different mediums. It's quite fun and challenging obviously. As I said I'll be back with some more regular videos coming soon and uh, I'll be doing a giveaway as well so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!